Hey everyone, Phil here from videoschoolonline.com. Today I'm answering a question from our photography masterclass course about focus. If you're interested in learning photography, click the link in the description below. It has a great discount for enrolling in that class. So the question is about getting focus and whether you should increase your light coming in via your ISO or your shutter speed. So you see this, these photos that the student posted. In the first one, as we can see, they set their aperture, which I actually don't know what their aperture was, but it, I think it's the same for both of these images. And they used ISO to bring up the light to get it exposed. And in the second one, they decreased the shutter speed to bring up the light. So actually for focus, neither of those things really matters for getting a more shallow depth of field. A better, a faster shutter speed or a higher ISO or a lower shutter speed or a lower ISO, that's not going to affect your depth of field, your plane of focus. What affects your plane of focus is your aperture, so how wide open your aperture is. The f-stop number being lower means a shallower depth of field and also how zoomed in you are, how telephoto your lens is. The more zoomed in you are, your lens actually creates a more crushed background. And so more will be out of focus in the background if you zoom in versus if you're wide open. And you can really tell this just by using a very wide lens versus a telephoto lens. You're on a wide lens, even with a low aperture, you get much more in focus in the background and it's harder to get that shallow depth of field. So I guess your question though is which would you use shutter speed versus ISO? I always want to decrease my shutter speed to bring up the light rather than ISO unless that's going to affect the movement of your photo. But you're shooting still life right here. Everything's still, your camera's still. So you can probably just decrease your shutter speed. I think in the photo that you posted, it's a little bit overexposed. The keys on the keyboard are too bright, so you didn't have to go so slow on your shutter. But I wouldn't decrease my shutter speed past like 1 60th of a second if you're shooting people moving or if you're shooting handheld and you might get a little bit of handshake in your, in your photos. If you're using a tripod, it's totally fine. But if you are shooting things like moving cars or moving people or just out in the world, you might get a little bit more movement from whatever is in, you're shooting rather than uh, if you're shooting a still life of just you know your computer keyboard. With ISO, the reason why I don't wanna increase ISO is because that can introduce digital grain and digital noise to your photo. A really high ISO will make, it will compensate, it will bring up the light, but it compensates that by in introducing digital noise. Unless you have a really nice new camera, mirrorless cameras do great with high ISO, um, but in general, I try not to go above ISO 800 in my, in my, on my settings, uh, especially uh, at night. During the day, sometimes you can get away with it because you don't see as much of that noise if the photo itself is, is as bright as this one. Uh, but in general, yes, so I would do use your shutter speed to bring in more light before changing your ISO unless the two things. One, unless there's movement in your, your frame and a sh low, low shutter speed will have that movement that you don't want. And then two, if increasing your high ISO uh, will bring in digital noise. If you have a fast camera, go ahead, increase your ISO. But if you don't, then uh, stick with the shutter speed. Okay, I hope that answered your question. If you have any more about photography, please let me know. If you're interested in the Photography Masterclass, check out the links in the description. Have a great day.